welcome back friends and in this tutorial we are going to just print out the response that we are receiving from from this open weather map api into our app so one more property that iron ajax actually uh, uses if you want to just print out the values or the response received would be like last response so this part is actually quite self explanatory and we'll just put in a curly braces and whatever the name of the tag you want to be and I, i'll just put in like ajax response okay and now we are going to go ahead and print that print this out so definitely remember that you have to put this in a span or a div or something like that and there should be no spaces in between and i'll just copy paste I'm getting super lazy these days. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, maybe we did something. Hope nothing. Okay, I'll just correct this part. There was a typo out here, so, so I'll just recheck. I I response. Okay, so let's do this again. Okay, we see that a object object got printed. That is, that is a, that actually means that a JSON object is being returned. But I'll just tidy up things a bit so that you all can see it better. So I'll just put a line break and line break and maybe just a HR tag also. So that would put a horizontal line throughout. And okay. So now out here, after the horizontal line, we can see that an object that an object has been received, and that is actually the the, uh, the thing that is being printed out from out here. And this is actually printing out an object. And so basically, what we can do is that we can go ahead and print the contents of the object. So if we just see in the Open Weather Maps API that this object contains a city. and the city object in turn contains id the name of the place coordinates country and after all this basic stuff inside the city there are actually an array of elements or uh, an uh, array of objects that contain the date and the different kind of weather re weather related information so first we'll see how to just out output basic objects and then we'll go on to printing out arrays and different lists type of things so so just starting out we'll just make some copies of this okay so just typing control d and just now seeing in the weather maps maps api we know that this thing contains just resize my windows okay so now this thing contains a city and which in turn contains an id okay and just i'll go ahead and put in line breaks so it actually becomes easier for us to see okay and then it contains a city and dot name and dot city dot coordinates and which and this coordinate object in turns contains a longitude and a lo latitude so we'll again put in a dot out here and put in lon lon and just put a line break control c and break and we'll just copy this part again city dot cod and just replace the lon part with the lat part so that should actually represent the longitude and the latitude and then we'll go ahead and print out some of the other basic stuff city dot country then i'll just make a few more copies and actually you can see that this message part this count part etc are outside the city object so if we have to print out that we'll have to remove this city property out here city from here and just type the type all this directly so i'll put it count then i'll put message 
and then in the last okay i just okay. i'll put code and then see what happens when we refresh okay so basically you can just see here that we have we are receiving all the data correctly and just resize again okay and all the data is being performed all the data is being fetched asynchronously through ajax and now we can see that everything is working fine but some thing i just typed okay i just typed some thing wrong out here and that's why coordinates are not being showing up i just typed this part wrong let's see whether city and name city dot okay we see that basically all the things are printing getting printed out except of this name property and we'll just go ahead and find all that in the next tutorial so definitely stay tuned and thank you and subscribe to the channel bye